Hello viewers and potential subscribers, you are watching episode number 40, 40. of the Great I knew it, I knew it this time you do not have to correct me Because I saw, I was watching the previous episode that we just recorded And like, because I said 38, you used the little bing with a 39 coming Like, I see what you did there, you little cheeky beaver <laughs> Oh, because I forgot to upload it, that was episode 38, but I messed up Yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know, I know But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our previous Forge session because we are about to do our second one. We are going to be looking at a map that I'm making currently for the Forge, um, Forge Hub, what do you call it? Uh, Super Fiesta Contest. Yeah, Super Fiesta. Yeah, also co-hosted by Podtacular, of whom I haven't really heard of. I had to look them up. Um, but it's pretty cool for them to co-forge, well, co-host, something like that, rather than it's just being Forge Hub all the time, because they mm. always take all the glory for Forge Contest nowadays. So. <laughs> Um, we are looking at one map of mine which I am not that happy with, and we're gonna go through exactly well, why I'm not happy with it. Okay. <laughs> so like you can go noise. ahead. You can go so ahead and generate. generate? The lighting. Yeah, generate okay. the lighting because the map looks absolutely gorgeous with the map generated. <laughs> the name of the map is Greece. I have not come up with the name of it, and the big highlight of the map is of course the theme. And if you look into the sunset, yay. Once you generate light, because yeah. you're in a normal Xbox One, so it takes you like ten times longer than me. Look, man, <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, if you look into the distance as you walk up those stairs. Whoa! You're yeah, a huge man. Are you serious? Well, it's meant to be a woman, but yeah. No. Wow. <laughs> Close enough, right? <laughs> a huge person. I'll say. A that. huge person, a huge stone statue in the background. I need to fix it up a little bit because I, when I moved it, some of the forge pieces shifted around. You can see the top of the spear completely missed its mark for oh, some reason. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> that's too in awe. Yeah, that's what happens when you move huge or forge objects together. Like some of them just disalign themselves quite a bit. Uh, if you follow well, me first, to the well, I was like, let me, me get my section. bearings. Uh, and then I was, I was gonna do like a bit by bit, you know. I was gonna see if I can guess what you don't like about it. Oh yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Yeah, have a little walk around. I'll be showing the people of this um, okay. podcast how this map looks like. And the map is not no when you finish. Don't look oh, at it and cool. be like, oh, it's so empty. I've literally not even begun adding mm -hmm. the main aesthetics on this map yet. I've added like the background aesthetics because you know. I want it to look pretty in the background, <laughs> but um, the okay. inside of the map needs a lot of work on at the moment. So I kind of... Okay, I get the vibe, so... Hmm, if I had to guess, maybe... Maybe some flow problems? Like not really um... having a crazy defined like flow? <laughs> it's, it's very like... The not part like of the map, that, but it, there's not a lot of like I gotta take this position and hold it, or you know, like motivational yeah, yeah. to move. But okay, uh, the like, main I part close. which I don't like is where I'm standing right now. This entire section over here, including this bottom spot, I really don't like the way it feels. Like this statue area is okay, but I do not like the way it transitions to this other side as you go up this gravity lift. I'm not sure what I would mm -hmm. be doing over here other than the gravity lift. Because I also want to keep this teleporter, and I think the positioning for the teleporter is okay. I need to m actually change the door frame for it and everything. This is just a placeholder, something I slapped in for the playtest so people can actually see that, oh, it's a teleporter, we should take it, you know, <laughs> and see where it takes us out. Hmm. And as you look around the map, you see like those Roman structures, and I kind of mixed a few um, buildings that kind of look like um, the Sea of Ilios, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, the it's all white. Yeah, like the blue tops on the buildings. I tried to mix a little bit of that in because I didn't like the way the map looked just white with a little bit of green. I wanted to add a little bit more color and I think the blue adds to it. But I just need to experiment a little bit more with the placement of those structures to see how, you know, it make, it's pretty to the eye. I definitely like the statue though because the statue, I'm not sure if you can see, but it actually generates a shadow on the side of the map by this gravity lift on the edge. Orange gravity lift. <laughs> um, the big shadow actually. Oh yeah, and you, if you look at the big Roman structure, the one I'm shooting at in the background over oh, there, yeah. you can see like the top of the head of the statue. You can see the shadow of it. Oh at the yeah. Top there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but it's pretty cool that it did. <laughs> and there's a little bit of mist going on in the background as well, just to kind of you know add a little bit of fog effect as because it's sunset. Yeah, it's meant to be like in the afternoon. Crazy. But I think yeah. 
But I think because I added the fog, it looks a little bit like in the morning rather than the afternoon sunset. Might be wrong. <laughs> it might look different to other yes. people, but it feels like you're early in the day, like maybe 4 a.m., 5 a.m. in the morning kind of time. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, definitely happy with the little statues as well because I've got the big statue in the background and then like tiny little statues around the map so I've got a couple of them like at different positions this one over here holding his shield like a very proud man <laughs> a, oh, little yeah, above, like... a little bit of plantation to cover up the mistakes <laughs> and the forged pieces <laughs> yeah no, it looks good though that's what mm. you have to do sometimes you know yeah of course I couldn't do anything minor like the fingers or anything because you know it's, it's Halo 5 I we don't have fingers yeah. as a forge object. <laughs> like some sandbags sticking through or something. Yeah, the sandbags might not actually be a bad idea. I might look into that. Um, definitely happy oh. with the waterfall as well. I like the way the waterfall came out and it's kind of like goes halfway through the map, like it splits the map in half, but then you have like a bridge. Oh no. Nah, nah. I got frame rate problems because, you know, I'm a. Yeah. When I get in the water, it's like base Xbox, really shining. <laughs> Yeah, if you do not have the Series X, highly recommend you try your best to get it out of a scalp. Find a scalper and just beat them up and steal their mm. Xboxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be ruthless. You have um, to get that before Infinite comes out. No, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I feel like some of the Sing Healy pieces might not be the play. Like, they're almost. I feel like if you could just substitute them with something else, I think it'd be a lot better. Like, it's almost like this map has good, just it's clean. A lot of it. Yeah. Um, and then the St. Helios piece is almost added, like, too much... De like, it's almost too much in some areas. Mm. If that makes any sense. I know what you um, mean, yeah. Like, it takes away from some of the other areas that are a little bit more plain. Like, the St. Helios pieces take the spotlight. Yeah. Or they Quite feel out of place because they're just very, like, you know, mm. up front with how detailed they um, are. Tell me which pieces you think cause that. Just uh, point a few a, out for me. A like, few which out? ones, yeah. Um... Well, first of all, I was just going to say this. I'm like, I don't know what. Oh, this yeah. <laughs> just does not look great. <laughs> like I said, like, there's fakes. There's fakes with this map I have not really worked with at the moment. Yeah, I've like, just this, been... little, like this little top <laughs> thing here. I'm like, what is going on here? You know? It's, it's um, all placeholders, my friend. There's the reason why I didn't want to go through this map. But yeah, yeah. I did want to go through like all the mistakes that you can like experience in the earlier stages of the Forge map. Because a lot of the times I like, would show you guys the finished product, you know, how the map looks like once we're very happy with it and this is what the map should be looking like. But you don't really get to see um, the early stages of the map and it's the reason why we chose to do this one over like my more complete map, which we can also take a look at later on. Right. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, I'd say you... <laughs> these are definitely stick out because also mm. as well, and this one back here, and also mainly because they go the same direction. Like yeah. you see how this the destruction flows the same way, mm. you know what? It's, so it looks very. It's like more obvious that it's that piece, you know. Yeah, um, and I guess I can't really say like some of the stuff in the middle. Yeah, but like you said, you already kind of. You know that was like a thing you were trying to hastily get together just to. Um, mm. To play test, you know. So yeah, I, I, I understand that. Mainly wanted just to play test the layout, and like I mentioned earlier, I don't like the way. This gravity lift transitions to this area with the teleport. I need to change this whole area quite a bit, I think, in order to I make think, it a little, a little I bit nicer. I think you should. And then this is, uh, I mean, I don't know how you feel about this. I would say um, I would have something down here that you could jump on, whether that's just like mm. a platform, but have no like lift, just something that you can kind of, you know, or just have it as a death pit, either way. Um, and then yeah. I was thinking maybe like. So if you go this, like if you went this way, you have a staircase that goes up and then loops around to enter up on this side. Mm. Do you mind if I delete some things to kind I'll of show you? I'll go for it, yeah. Bit? Yeah, it's a, it's a good point. Yep. We are in Forge right now, so we can quickly do some adjustments. This I just was making sure you, I'm going to delete some of the invisible blocks Oh, yeah, yeah, go well. for it, yeah. Do everything you need to do. So. Um, Oosh. Let's take a look at Yeti's incredible forging skills. Well, I, hast <laughs> I hastily uh, forged. Uh, <laughs> let's see, I want to pull the right block out. There we go. I want, like, oh, that's, that's too big of a block. Do you have, oh man, did you not use any, like, flat ones? No, like 16s. 16. <laughs> you didn't use any. Um, I have 16 a 16 by, by 16. 64. 
Um, no, just spawn one there. It do, takes you do, two I'll seconds. Just, I'm Look. just gonna duplicate this 64, the skinny one. That makes no sense. There you go. There it is behind you. Take it. Take it. It's right there. <laughs> oh, it's not, it doesn't have the texture though. It doesn't matter. Anyway. We're just doing the thingy majiggy <laughs> and the layout a little bit. <laughs> This is what happens when two forge mines collide. Uh, no, I, yeah, really. <laughs> you're like, man, I don't want to have to do all that. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, I like and that. Then you have it. Then you have it land on a platform here, and then it ramps up again, kind of thing. Like, oh, you have definitely. It. And then so that kind of enforces you to push up and and move, mm. versus you know, kind of, in that situation, you might not want to. I guess. Yeah, yeah, move yeah. Or, it doesn't really give you an immediate advantage. And then you have it covered, obviously, like up top. But it would be kind of like a... Or maybe not even. I don't know. But that was like <laughs> what I was thinking. Mm. Then, I definitely like the yeah. idea, yeah. I'm probably going to stick that in with the final, <laughs> final product. So that for way sure, you still have sure. a route that can take you to this spot. But it doesn't feel mm. like you're just slapping down a lift. But it, and it, still, yeah. it just gets you in the same place. Just a different way. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, plus there's a little bit of cover. And if I do it correctly, I might pull like a little, uh, what do you call it? Um, maybe like a doorway that you have to jump through in order to get to this other section. So you're jumping over the staircase, if that makes sense. Maybe I would also nice. recommend maybe making this bridge instead of doing this. Let me, uh, I would make it go the other way, almost. Um, and I'll like explain higher. my thing. I'll explain my thinking here too, because... Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's valuable to explain your reasoning for things, but so let's say you have this bridge and I just obviously just hastily did this for one It helps in this situation where if you have a staircase below you have more room for the people to walk obviously great Yeah, but let's say in this situation too you have and then this will go this ramp will be higher too It creates a really it's a more interesting encounter versus dipping down You know you may have someone on that other side that you can't necessarily see so it creates this kind of push-pull kind of mentality because you think mm. of Valhalla with the hill. Valhalla mm. is basically a hill, and that's to me, that's one of the most fun areas to fight. It's so simple, yet it's so effective just trying to navigate around this this mound. Yeah. And so with this bridge, you create kind of a, a hill. Uh, and you also create a spot that's more dominant because the way you had it in the back of the base, it wasn't any, it was the same height as the bridge. So mm. it's like, what's the point of me pushing up to that bridge if I get the same advantage I would standing in the back of the base now you see so that's, as someone that thinking. doesn't play much in um, slayer mass much like competitive um uh which you have the competitive playlist at whatsoever <laughs> um i don't really know how to create slayer maps um like at all our core maps because i'm an infection forger yeah so all i ever had to do was like oh yeah make the map look pretty and create holdouts that are not too overpowered for the humans but when mm -hmm. it comes to this kind of like thing I, i'm clueless so i'm very happy that you're actually <laughs> showing me a little bit more about and that if you made the bridge a little thicker too, if you notice, come stand up where I am. Mm. Like if you jump over here, um, just so you can get the way it looks too. You notice how I can't see into the base anymore? That yeah. Created a, that, that encourages me also to be like, well, crap, you know, I want to be able to kill those dudes. That makes me expose myself and move up on this higher location to get those kills. So mm. that's another element of that. So that's, like that's another thing I'd recommend. Yeah. <laughs> Love it, love it. And um, what do you think of the orange gravity lift in the corner of the map? Um, where I am right hmm. now. Because the reason behind it is I wanted to have something that takes you to the other side of the map, but also you can use a thruster to kind of like alter your. Um... Right now, I I like this side a lot more than the um, the that blue lift that you had definitely. Yeah. Um. The one thing I guess does hinder this map is it is really small. Mm. So that's almost like you need to make it a little bit bigger, which I know is like, it's like, oh, I gotta restart the whole map, you know? <laughs> I can definitely um, do that. I have time. <laughs> <laughs> um, just because, you know, thinking about it, it's like, does this, the travel time, it's like the lift is not really compared to, I could easily just go, you see what I mean? Like, the, mm. it's like, and the lift, I mean, it, it helps you get up top, but it's almost the equivalent of just running over there and jumping up, or just going over here. Or you know, you see what I mean? It's like the. Yeah. I'm not saying travel time is everything, but it's just thinking of the value of your routes and things. Mm. Thinking like, okay, well, what's the point of this? 
you know, how is this helping the player? And like in this instance, yes, it does help the player a lot by, you know, getting him across and lifting them up. But the map is so small, like at this size, this map is pretty much like a 2v2 map. Hmm. This is, or it's yeah. just like a really chaotic slayer. <laughs> um, Pretty much, yeah. So, I mean, that's just my thoughts, I guess, on that area. And then I do like, I mean, I like this, I do like the way the area is a lot because I'd imagine it's really fun to play in because it's kind of its own little section. Mm. It seems very, like, not saying it feels separate, but it feels very unique. It, you know, some strongholds are just kind of like, it's here because it's here. <laughs> <laughs> I just had no place to put it. It feels very uh, nicely housed and... Um... <clears throat> well, I'm huh. very glad that you like this area, yeah. Because the thing, I still have plenty of time to change the actual layout of the map. Like, I still have three weeks to do whatever I want. Because yeah. the main is fake, which is the big statue in the background. Like, that was my main issue, you know. Like, I wanted to make this yeah. um, the highlight of the map. Because, you know, we're in 2021. This is the last... Halo contest, Halo Five contest that we'll ever have. Oh yeah, probably. And gotta go big or go home, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, um, I'm probably gonna. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna max out the object on this. Like, let's look at the object count. I can still easily pull like 400, 500 objects on this map without any trouble whatsoever. And mm -hmm. like, yeah, like you said, you have to increase the size of the map because at the moment it feels like a two v two map. I am more yeah, than happy to do that. And I felt the same way. I felt the same way when I was playing this. We are playing this with what five people, free for all. And there was mm -hmm. definitely a little bit of an issue. Like, for example, with teams, I don't think those issues would be similar-ish. <laughs> I think there'll be a yeah. little more space because, you know, it's I like would definitely, uh, my recommendation, yeah, definitely be to make it bigger and just think about, yeah, the value of your your routes. But don't make them too, like, it's like that's the balancing act because you don't want to make them too tedious to use. You know, you yeah. think of maps, maps like... Um, even, I don't know if people are going to say like they love the map, but Rats Race, for example, it's pretty much just long hallways that ramp up. Mm. And that can be yeah. fun, but it's also like those are really long-winded and kind of <laughs> tedious to move on, right? Mm. And, well, I mean, I guess you do have the teleporters to alleviate it, but, you know, you don't want it to be like annoying to travel and be like, oh my gosh, but you don't want it to be so small that it's almost insignificant in the grand scheme of the map, yeah. if that also makes um, sense. Absolutely, yeah. So I would say, like, with the advantage of making it bigger, you would have the waterfall area. You know, you could this gap would be way. You could make it almost way more like, like epic looking, like a huge like river going down, <laughs> and really make it like a, a jump to get across, and then have this like overhang a bit more. So this area down here is kind of like your safe spawns, but you're disadvantaged, because you know mm. if you're at the bottom, you really want it to be. You want your lower areas to be safe unless you have an advantage, kind of like this lift where, you know, you go from high to low. You don't necessarily want a route that's that useful to be enclosed because that gets annoying. Um, yeah. Kind of like damnation where the teleporter is in a really secure location and, <laughs> you know, you can just teleport to the highest spot. So, yeah, I would definitely um, make it... Uh, yeah, just make it bigger. Maybe by like sixteen units. Mm. Just overall, um, I know. You, I know you know what to do with that. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You have given me Which... plenty to work with at the moment. I would definitely incorporate all of that. Probably once I finish my third map, because I did kind of like start making my next map before I finished this one, <laughs> just because I. I know, that's what I'm about to do too. It's so <laughs> tempting. Yeah, it's one of those things you do as a forge. You know, like. Well, not even so much as a forger, as a person that likes to make stuff. Like That's you're about creative, to finish, yeah. yeah, you're you're about to finish one thing, but then you get a cool idea, and you're like, okay, I need to start this cooler idea, and then you kind of forget yeah. what the thing you were doing to begin with, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> I have a bad tendency of not finishing yeah. my projects. For example, my Destiny armor that's still like seventy percent done, and it's just sitting there. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, it's the I've got all the pieces like already ready to you know be put together, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> And that's kind of what the map is like at the moment for me. Definitely happy with what you have shown me with the bridge. I like that how it, how it gives like a more of a height advantage and the sight on block at the right. same time. I love in that. Um, yeah, the wall of work can probably make it a little bit bigger. Only worry is you have said just now it causes frame rate just as small as the waterfall is at the moment. That already causes you frame drops. If I were to make it bigger, ooh, I'll try, but no promises that you. Well, won't. is there any way that you could make it almost touch the water level? 
Just so you don't have to use as many effects. Like, make it deeper. Mm. So you can also make it a death pit as well I by making it bigger and I deeper. I could. I'm not sure how to feel about that because I want it to be a playable area as well, the wolf. I wanted to be able to, like, mm -hmm. go into the water, if that makes sense. I didn't want it to. I didn't want a death pit in the middle over here, at least not on this map. <laughs> I know it's going to be made for Super Fiesta Slayer. Well, but another element, another thing you could think about is what if you, let's say, you just, let's, in the, hypothetically speaking, with Ben Shapiro over here, the map is just bigger. You do have the middle that is your death pit, right? That's a little yeah. bit wider. But then where this would be, what if this was just where your waterfall was? And then it's almost like a stream that flows into the main water. So you still have mm. that playable element, but it's just a. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's just a smaller version of what you wanted. I don't know, just a thought. Hmm. Well, you've shown me a lot of things I can incorporate into the map. I'm, I should probably be taking notes. But I'm definitely going to have to, like, write some stuff down at the end of this podcast. Well, you, have the, you have the footage, so you can go Oh, yeah, I can just rewatch it. it. Yeah, good call, good call. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we don't rewatch our own podcasts because we've already seen them and all of that. But, yeah. Well, because I'm in them. <laughs> We're all in them. <laughs> yeah, there are other important members will have to watch it you know they will have to give us the the views <laughs> yeah, I know. but yeah so this was um greece because like i said it does not have a name you want me to show one more of mine or do you want to show one of yours i now? am yeah i'm really curious to see your stuff man i mean i mm -hmm. i don't really have much to show i'm not a forge factory not no pun intended to forge factory but i'm not a forge <laughs> machine like you are yeah, so. pretty much all of my free time at the moment. Oh, that's so cool. I know, <laughs> you like that. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice touch. Yeah. No, I love the sculpting. I mean, I wish I could do stuff like that. All right, so we just looked at that map. Um, Greece, now we're on to Senshi. Uh, Senshi, which, which I seen, means... We had looked at pictures of this <laughs> you a couple have. episodes ago. So yeah. I'm interested to see... Um, well, I guess I'm more interested to walk around it. <laughs> mm. I still want to add a few changes to this map. Um, when I did play this, there were a few spawn issues, as they usually are on a new map, you know. You have to mm -hmm. fix those straight off the bat. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything just now. I want to give a quick walkthrough before I say anything about the map, you know. Just to kind of give people the, um, the absorption of the atmosphere, you know. <laughs> I wanted <laughs> to feel it, like breathe it in. And just, yeah. Which... I do feel bad for you in this case in terms of the... Did you build this on Tidal or what did you build this on? Uh, Tidal, yeah. So the Tidal Nighttime, as you probably found out, doesn't look that great. <laughs> like it is a... Uh, uh... It's okay. I mean, this one doesn't look bad. Will it? You you take a look. You, you'll you see. I just compared to... Actually, well, I might be able to show you my... I started working on a, a uh, kind of Japanese map a long time ago. So I mm. used Glacier, which has a great nighttime. Uh, I'm sure it does, Skybox. Yeah. The only reason I chose Tidal is because of the water. I, I wanted there to be water on my map. <laughs> Gonna wait that's, a few I mean, hours for J to generate line. There he no, is. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so this is Senchi. It's a Japanese style of map. Um, Senchi means warrior, if you were to translate it to English. Um, as you walk around the map, you see beautiful scrolls on the walls. By the way, my design. As far as oh. I know, no one has ever made this before, so quite yeah, happy with this. Was... <laughs> the thing that got me the most was the the fact that it has the the yellow still at the bottom. Mm. I was like, what the heck? But you just use two... Uh, yeah, it's a nice pipes. little touch, huh? <laughs> I know. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Also, the crab statue. <laughs> I wanted to add no, some kind of a statue, crab. but it's simple, but it works, you know? Did you do and... like the pig with horns? <laughs> and I have no idea what those um, letters mean. When I looked it up, like it meant something like mountain or rice field or something like that. But I have no idea. I can't. I don't remember what any of that means. So if anyone wants to have a guess, wild guess, then go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd have to look up some kanji letters, I think. Oh Please. my gosh, the bamboo. Oh yeah, the bamboo sticks. You like now? That. Do you have? Wait, now do you? Um, why are they so <laughs> glossy? Would they look better if they're matted? I don't know. I just did one that was. I think they'd probably look better if they weren't shiny. They wouldn't look like metallic. Stick so I just did this front one as zero. Yeah, I did one as well. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll change it. Maybe this is a mix. prefab that I use, and I haven't really changed the actual. Um, yeah, I just maybe. Over. I'd play around with it. Yeah, yeah. I still have three weeks. Like I said, plenty of time to add changes to your maps. 
And the bridge area, definitely the area that I'm most happy with. I think aesthetically this just looks absolutely gorgeous because when you look into the distance, not as significant as the statue you've just seen on the previous map, but I do like this little lighthouse that can be um, kind of like an old style Japanese lighthouse no. with a big flame. And the flame is a little bit too big because this was IRL. This will probably burn down, but you know, you oh, get yeah, the idea. It would, like, it would shatter <laughs> the. Uh, we'd feel the heat from here. I mean, probably. It would be so much. Mm. Yeah, had someone help me with the um, actual background for this map. As you look outside, you see like those big mountains. I wanted to feel enclosed inside inside of like those big and um, kind of like cliff areas and such. So as you look in the outside areas, you'll see not so much over here because I wanted this to be like an ocean view. I was gonna say, I was like, there's, there's mountains back there. I, like, <laughs> I don't see any at all. Uh, if you follow BA, and you can clamber this if you're a professional oh, well, player. I, I was trying to clamber on your booty. <laughs> it's what it looked like. I love the walls too. Yeah. The way those look. I like those as well. And the yeah. subtle angle too makes it mm. look great. Yeah, but as you look outside of the map, I can, you can jump around, you can do any kind of angle as you look out. You'll always see those beautiful mountains in the background. And I like it because, like, it just... Because sometimes, like, you know, when you go to, like, a corner of the map and you look outside or, like, you jump up and you look outside of the map, sometimes you have, like, this area which is completely blank and there's nothing the there. Avoid, yeah. Yeah. And I wanted to just not have that on this map. I wanted there to be something outside of the map, no matter at what point of the map you stand on. I wanted there to be something there. Oh, that is funny that you mentioned that because I, the first thing I noticed when I um, had, I'm seeing some trends there with the lift that you can. No, mm -hmm. this I was like, well, that's really cool. Like the fact that I can look oh, back yeah. and see that. I thought that was really neat. And yeah, uh, I was like, very happy very with nice. this. See this little um, Japanese. Uh, I think don't don't even know what you call them. It's like um, a gate, I guess, like archway. Archway gate, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and I used a few of them on the center of the map as well. I think they just add towards this Japanese feel. Oh, oh yeah, the Sakura tree. You guys have not seen the Sakura tree. Uh, cherry Blossom. Very happy with the way this came out. I was going to add another one of them into the map, but I just couldn't because Expensive. of not even that, the render distance. If I put it oh, at yeah, any other lights. corner of the map, if you were to stand like on this corner of the map and there was a Sakura tree, for example, I don't know, by the lighthouse, let's say, you wouldn't be able to see the pink lights on it. It would just look white, you know? Because I used the yeah. glacier tree, and if I were to, yeah, I don't think it's grouped. If I were to take this tree away, no, I, I believe you. I've done yeah. that. I've had the same thing happen. Yeah, it's this is how the tree rough. looks like without the lights. So it's just a normal white tree, like a snow tree. And if those lights were to be placed all the way on the island, you just wouldn't see them because of the render distance. So sadly, Halo yeah. Five does not allow us to have them like too high of a distance which is a little bit annoying but you know it is what it is <laughs> and but yeah fiat he follows me into the bell room i know the cool part yeah the bell room does the bell does reset i'm, go I'm just going to do it for the sake of this video so the bell moves back and forth i was going to spray charge rubber. it and see oh i didn't really do much <laughs> yeah he, he does um have a tendency to drop shields like if you walk into it it will it drop your shields a little bit and we just uh be like no. <laughs> <laughs> be protected in the bell like if there's a stronghold oh you yeah just can hide inside imagine the someone like fires the rockets at you and they're like they try to like, no. destroy you <laughs> uh. sorry that was <laughs> my uh parent asking me if i wanted some juice no i don't want juice mommy <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> so good but yeah if you um, walk into the bell like you can Shoot. give us a speed I want to make, because the map is not finished yet, I'm trying to figure out a method, like a very smooth method of making the bell never stop, so it continuously moves back and forth. Um, um, you could just put like um, gravity modifiers, like sliders I tried or it. bouncers. I tried, I really tried, trust me, but either, like, either the bell starts spazzing out or it completely like glitches out and like just flies away. <laughs> kind of <laughs> it's very weird i need to experiment with it. i need to get someone that knows what the hell they are doing with this kind of things because this is the <laughs> first time i've ever done a um, normal setting building like this before so yeah, yeah. <laughs> well i Definitely. think it's really cool though that it is, mm. it is dependent on people though too oh yeah i think that's kind of a thing, neat thing to discover because if it always moves then you just don't really it's not like a whoa like what the heck that thing moves <laughs> you know it's not like a yeah, pretty much. Uh, plus, when you have the actual initial loader cameras for this map, um, there is a camera that points at the bell as it's moving. So it starts moving at the beginning of the round, but then it slows down, of course, after about a minute. It comes to a stop. And 
just need to figure out how to make it so it never stops by itself, so it always has a little bit of movement behind it. Because as much as I like the idea of people having to um, move it themselves, I don't want it to be dependent on that, you know? I want the belt to move by itself, because it would be a, a little bit annoying for people to have to, like, you know, go up to it every now and then just to make it move, just to have some mobile cover. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, having a little bit more, like, personal movement would be nice. And this also, room... Have you thought about putting sand here instead of, uh, just, a like, putting a, oh. a, turning a flat thing upside down and dropping it in? Maybe. Once again, I'm taking over. Don't <laughs> save. <laughs> Like it's and then don't use barren sand. Use depths because the depth sand, you know, has the the varying sand texture on it. I did not know that. No, I've never actually made the map on depths or barrens. So like, if you <laughs> notice depths, let's see if I can move it to Ooh. the right spot. <laughs> oh, the bell is going nuts! Oh, eating eating your bell out of yep. here. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find a spot. So if you come over, yep, I see it here. You notice how it like kind of transitions? There's like dark sand and then it goes to light. Yeah. So that's pretty much if you want like varying sand, um, then depths is the way to go. But if you want a, like a consistent sand, then obviously barrens. Mm. But I like uh, depths a lot. Uh, not the canvas, but the, <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, sand the canvas. because. So you know, I think I I did it wrong. So here's I think one you way to make flat. It. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This way is nice, like the flats. But another one, another piece that I honestly think, and see that in that case you'd have to do two, but you also run the risk of having like a weird connection. But another piece that is uh, great for flat terrain is the ramps, because the ramps on the underside, it is dead flat. Oh, okay. There's no chance of it having any elevation. So you know, you get the flat piece, the ramp, turn it upside down. And mm. just uh, drop it in, and then boom, it's guaranteed to be flat and not I like you, that. So. Plus, it makes a different noise when you walk on it now, which is very nice. Yeah, so. Yeah, I like that. Um, by the way, this room, I do want to change this room a little bit. This room was the issue um, with the spawn traps. Um, well, not so much spawn traps, the spawn issues I had before. I think this room needs like another, kind of like, it needs to be split in half a little bit, or there needs to be some kind of like different area where I'm standing like from this side to this side I think having something maybe raised and then having a staircase from this raised section going down lower over here and like coming mm -hmm. out of this section maybe might be a nice little touch because in terms of layout I'm very happy with how I would, I've made this map so far I would almost recommend okay so you see how this mm. staircase goes up here and there's like this platform and then there's this I would almost push the whole building over to this point um you make basically mm. making the building like they're giving you that much more room to work with inside the building so you could give it the, the proper elevation or give it and this is a, yeah. a thing once again i would say flip it once again instead of going down why not go up to create that sense of um a hill once again mm. and then you could have it okay i'm about to rip apart the map again <laughs> go for it go for it i'm not saying uh, it so it doesn't matter See, I always I feel bad it's going in these maps because then I feel like I'm taking over your, you know, whole business. Oh, no, no. I need feedback. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm dumb when it comes to making things like this. So if you give me feedback, I'll actually... So it's going to look you, really bad. You know? I'm just, just, this is for, for pure visual um, representation. So, like, when I say move the whole building, I would, I would say, like, do, like, this, mm. you know? Yeah. So then, and then... And I see I just ruined the whole inside. <laughs> but then you have the ramp. It would go up. Um, I would go up this way. Mm. You would have... Let me uh, have I know you're going to hate this. Over here. I'm going to delete your bell because I don't want it. No, to not the, the bell. <laughs> well, okay, well, hold on. I'll see if I can keep it. <laughs> so you do something like this. And then you'd raise the... Actually, no, you keep, like, you keep that like that. You'd raise this other side the same way. Obviously, you have stairs or whatever. Or build on it. And then you'd have this be, you'd probably have this be walled off or be a slit. And so you'd have it to where you would drop down. Um, I'm going to spawn in some new blocks so they won't be textured. I apologize. Yeah. Ah, that's so good. <laughs> going to look green here in a sec. Is, people, this, does not look, this does not look khaki to me. It's green, isn't it? Or am I just high? I mean, it, no. is, it does always look green to me. I wouldn't say it green, does, no. 
it's looking like, at my it's recording green. as well no it's not green no <laughs> it always looks green to me never green <laughs> so what you do is you do this and then you'd have your your bridge and then it would connect lower you mm. know down here so then you'd have this sense of probably need to move this back to the side it's like yeah that's don't... what that's just giving you the kind of the idea of like I would almost say take it even more vertical like make it even lower just so it feels like it's a, a bigger distance yeah. but that's the general maybe something that's like the this. general the so maybe like a higher platform over here where I'm standing and then if I were to take this and this bridge, would go up this would raise up higher do I have to save selected? room what is this where is it I hate when you I hate when you duplicate something and then it's never like in the area which you want it, to be. it disappears into the ether yeah and I didn't even duplicate it this time. Oh, there goes oh, the bell. No, the no, bell! The bell. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Some, I need to give him some CPR here. <laughs> bell down. Oh, bell down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's going. It's going up. It's doing its own thing. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's going to crush me with the bell here. Yeah, probably. Whoop. <laughs> Crushing you with something. I can't find it at the moment. The God damn it. I've just used this piece. I was going to just use the bridge piece, but it's fine. <laughs> and then have something like this over here. So. This is why I don't code forge, because then glitches like this happen all the time. <laughs> so you have another no, little I bridge just, over here. And... I would just have that be a jump, and then have just be the bridge. Okay. Yeah, I just have that be the jump and leave it more open, because if you have the stronghold down there, it makes you want to go down, and then you could have it, you know, you could still have it like this, and then mm. have like a, a bridge go across here or whatever. But I mean, I know, it's, I know this looks terrible, but that's the general <laughs> shape. So then you have this be lower. And then you kind of have a sense of a bottom mid because you know how they you know it's like bottom mid mm -hmm. so now you have this area where it's like okay i need to get out of here now yeah 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 <laughs> oh wow the whole map is different now <laughs> everything has to walk on uh what do you think uh, of stone slabs around the map do I, they look at still, slabs? I always recommend i would always say not use alpine but you do oh. <laughs> I, no, I wanted to use asteroid. alpine because then it uh, matches with like the rest of the map so it's not like a different color of the rocks. Because how would you use asteroid? For I would have done the whole map as asteroid. No, that would look or, weird. Or done a mix of tidal in and do the slab, little stepping stones as uh, asteroid. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. You don't it know would how look it, good. you don't know how art works, do you? No, no. I this do. Is, <laughs> when it comes to art, you need to have a proper color contrast. And if I were to use like darker um, rocks with green, it's called, it's called spicing it up, man. Nah, nah. You still look natural. You still look real. Like, see those bonsai trees over here? Look at them, they're beautiful. <laughs> they have the smallest pots ever. I don't know how they, I know. How they stay up. You know, they grow, um, the roots Where are very roots, tiny. They, they, yeah, it's like a carrot. That's what it looks like. The root is just like the whole stem. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's the thought that counts, you know? <laughs> and then I have the... What do you think of... What do you call it? What's this other area? What do you think of this spot in general, in terms of playability? Do you like this kind of being separated by this wall? That no, I think that's good. Okay, no, cool. I think that's good. Alright, nice. Yeah, because you need to have segmentation. Because even if, let's say, you have a small map, you, if a map is tiny and you have good segmentation, it'll play like a bigger map. If mm. that makes any sense. Like, oh, yeah. Because, yeah, it's just. It's like, imagine if you had like a. It's like those tiny mazes. Like a maze seems long, even though it's like a one inch by one inch drawing. <laughs> so. Halo 3 maps did a very good job of making that actually. Mm -hmm be the case like guardian for example the perfect example it's a tiny map when you actually look at it um, Citadel. in terms of surface area yeah well citadel mm. is still really tiny but that yeah. is a good example of like citadel is uh it there's a lot of segment like those back hallways are very segmented and mm. you know if you it's about kind of ah, information ah, ah. oh my gosh what did you do oh my where did the bell go holy moly it's <laughs> <in the ground. laughs> It's alive! <laughs> oh my gosh, can you grab it? We gotta put it down. We gotta kill it. We gotta, <laughs> you gotta put it down. Uh, put I'm it trying. down now. Oh. Kill it. Delete Dude. it. What the hell? There's two of them now. What the hell? Whoa, Just delete whoa. it, please. It's, <laughs> it's still it alive. To die. It's going for it. It's trying to get you. Oh no! Bruv! What the hell? <laughs> can you see that? Yeah, it exploded in like a thousand different pieces. Yeah. Uh, this is this is building, oh. by the way. 
when you unweld an object. Well, I didn't unweld it. I just I tried to delete it, but instead oh, of actually, being deleted, it just. I didn't realize you had this area down here. I wouldn't even do that bridge. I just do this. I just have it be open. Oh, I like the it's, little bridge. <laughs> I know it's nice, but like it's not really. Uh, it, it's kind of cluttery. I would mm. say put the bridge over. If you're gonna put it, just put it over here. Have oh it yeah, do that. that That'd be a connection. Yeah. Someone did commit suicide over here a few times, so maybe <laughs> just for them. <laughs> and then this is my last thing: cardinal sin, bro. Cardinal sin. How could you? Where? Come up here, cardinal sin. Bruh, I can't get there. Ah. Oh. Bruh, bruh moment. <laughs> Worst invis blocker of all time. I'm cardinal so sorry. Sin. <laughs> cardinal um, sin. Yeah, I do need to fix. That. I was thinking of putting like um. Like a natural piece that's a little bit It's taller. not the worst. It's just like kind of like, what the heck? I like, know. It's because of this it. archway, the Japanese archway. Like, if I were to put it taller, go higher, it would just kind of like do this, you know? It would kind of like cut it up a little bit. And yeah, I could move it like this, but then it's like, eh, still looks, still looks ugly. <laughs> I'll fix it. Don't worry. I'll fix it. I promise. <laughs> on the honor. Or just make a whole, just make this building like bigger and then just make that the, you know. <laughs> to the building or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh man. Three more weeks, well, man. We got plenty of time. Yeah, you got. Well, <laughs> three weeks is a long is a long time for you, but it's a short time for me. Let's just say mm -hmm. that. I was speaking of you. Um, do you want to show like you've seen the Twitter pictures I showed yesterday, right? Yeah. You think that's think worth so. showing? If is I can worth... remember, hold on. If I. Um... I'll end I this for now. Right <laughs> but yeah, this was Senshi, a Japanese style map. Yeah, he has completely demolished it, but you know, he is giving me once again a lot of I'm trying very to good a, feedback. You know, I'm a visual learner, so I like to, <laughs> you know, visualize. I love it. I love it though. I like the way you think. I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> so I'm basically sure. just showing a picture of like a yeah, futuristic oh. waterfall and some neon signs. Like some. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I thought that was cool. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, let's show it. Show that. Is that inspired by like that? It almost reminds me of like Busan map from over. Oh, I'm about to restart my game again. Ah. So we'll be back in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. back. We're gonna, gonna see um, this one, I yeah. guess, real quick. Is there much to show? Uh, you can go ahead and generate the lighting. Um, this map is very tiny at the moment because I've not done anything to it other than like the middle part for now. And like every, the only thing that will stick to this map is literally just this um waterfall. Which, by the way, I am very happy with. So the, the idea You're behind this map, with waterfalls, man. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Waterfall the... Every single map has a waterfall, but this time it's a futuristic waterfall. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's different, you know. But still a waterfall, nevertheless. And the theme for this map that I'm going with is a futuristic shopping mall. Um, so I was trying to make something abstract in the middle. Um, that's where I kind of got this idea for the waterfall, and the waterfall kind of stretches out throughout the middle of the map, all the way across. Um, and I'm very happy with the way I made this little because I wanted the map to be like illuminated by orange lights everywhere So I thought I right. made a very cool thing over here where it transitions from like the black um, Blocks slowly gain grayer into yellow into orange at the bottom Pretty happy with how this looks it's very modern it looks like a modern art, you know, like something that you'd see in a, a modern gallery or something just out of place and Well, it's unnatural, you know, it's futuristic the kind of stuff you'd see maybe in Korea. Yeah you know, different some random arcade place, you know. Um, the cool attraction for this map, though, if you follow me over here, if you saw on my Forge book. Yeah, I, I was peeking. I was yeah. gandering me. <laughs> so, for those who do not know, Halo 5 has a feature where if you select, um, if you, let's say, go oh, to... Oh, I thought, I, I thought these were uh, fluorescent signs. But no, they're, no, they're no. Little, but they're the borders. So, something I only learned, I learned this about, I don't know, two months ago. I did not know about that. You didn't know if you If you <laughs> use joints... And you go into the boundaries of them and make them visible. For some reason, the joints are the only piece or one of the very few pieces in the game where the boundary will actually be visible when you so, go no, into the you custom can actually, game. You can actually do that on uh, all the pieces, I believe. Or like very Not all, all of most them. Of the, Not so, all most of them. the invisible pieces you can do that with. I should mm. rephrase. Like with the brains and things. Oh yeah, like the... every single joint object you can do it with. But I did not know about that. For example, if you were to try and do that with, I don't know, like an invisible blocker, it doesn't work. A chroma, it doesn't work. But it works with these pieces for some reason. It's weird. they're invisible. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. But, you know, it's a strange little thing that I didn't know about. And they allow you to do things like these. Um, so, like I said, this is a futuristic shopping mall. So, I was going for, like, those um, 
well, I want to say futuristic signs, you know, I wanted them to look what we'd see in the current the present cupcake day. is definitely the, uh, the most baller <laughs> one. The most what, sorry? Baller. Like, it just, looks, <laughs> it just looks really cool. <laughs> I, I'm glad you like this one. This one's meant to be a joystick. Noble was in my stream. He said it looks like a Minecraft torch, so now I can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a redstone. Yeah. It was like a birthday cake or something. I was like, this is a birthday cake. I tried to make like an arcade sign with a joystick, but yeah, uh, it's it's coming apart now that everyone's saying it looks like something else. Now I just can't <laughs> see a joystick anymore. I'm definitely happy with the martinis and the American cup, the red cup. <laughs> the martinis look pretty. And the 7-7 seven, seven sign for the uh, slot machines. Very yeah, happy for that and Halo out. reference too. Yeah. 777, baby. <laughs> oh, the toy shop with a T-O-Y and a little present for a gift shop. Yeah, that's what I have so far. I'm going to be adding a lot more to this. This is just an experimentation phase where I'm seeing what works, what doesn't. The fish and chips, I'm sure there's going to be a futuristic fish and chip shop sign in the future. You're like, those are never going to go out of style, at least in Britain. A thousand years into yeah. the future... There'll probably be millions of fish and chip shops throughout the streets of the chips. UK. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, I don't even know. I don't want to make something dumb right now. <laughs> I could some, I could say something very stupid about fish and chips, but I'm not going to do that because I, um, I respect, I respect, I respect You're myself. Fellow God man. damn it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ugh. So, um... <laughs> So I guess, are you going to go kind of in a uh, symmetrical direction or are you going to do like a sphere sim? So, so, but it looks like it has symmetrical elements to it. The middle of it, I want to, so the middle of it is the only part that's going to stick. Like I said, the sides, I was just experimenting at the moment. When I look at it on paper right now, I made a lot of alterations to it. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm probably got, still going to have like um, a pathway leading from this area. Also, do you like the tree? The orange tree? Yeah, I thought it was really, I'm, I was kind of curious though. I'm um, not sure if you want to. I know you said the one that's about to be very orange. Um, mm. And if you go into the map settings, you know there's that filter, the enhance that makes everything look really orange. So sometimes you won't even need to have those lights. So, like, let's say if I spawn in a tree. You will definitely need the lights. Trust me, you will need the lights. I tried. <laughs> um, so, you've already tried this? Yeah, yeah. I know it works for. Let me see. Oh yeah, I've got like this little arcade machines at the bottom over here. I've completely forgot. See how it's them. very like it's like a subtle orange. I mean, I know some some of the trees have worked better. I think the pine trees. My there's some that just look really orange. I mm. mm. where it affected it more than that. But, you so, know, when you compare that to bad. this tree, it's like it's like yeah. night and day. You know, like this just looks absolutely majestic. Well, <laughs> it almost looks too bright. Mm. Well, now that you added a filter to the map, you know it's. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I was like, <laughs> now it's really orange. It's like, I wonder why. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It'd be cool if you also did, like, a digital tree. Oh. Oh, you've given me a cool idea. Oh. <laughs> like a like a bonsai tree that's, like, digital. That'd be... I'm definitely gonna do that. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Boy. I'm gonna do, like, I don't know, like a weed shop or something. Like, um, I don't know. <laughs> a weed shop. <laughs> and what do you call them? Vape shops. There we go. Maybe yeah, something vape. like that. Yeah, vape. Yeah. Have a little tree in there. Also, what do you think of the idea? Because um, I had some people in chat on my stream tell me that would be cool to make this gravity lift put you up over here, but then there'll be like a waterfall going down. So this wasn't here um, at the earlier stages. Mm -hmm. What do you think of there being like a second waterfall that's going a little bit higher, where I can still walk through this? Would that bother you if you were to play on this map and there was something like this over here? It just depends on your consistency. So, I mean, if you set the standard as... So let's say, like, uh, like, is over here, I'm assuming you can't walk through this, right? Oh, this is a placeholder. Everything other than the waterfall is a placeholder. Okay. <laughs> like, let's say, for example, like, you finished the map, yeah. and you had this window, and you couldn't walk through it. Mm. Or that's my assumption. It's the border of the map. I'm like, okay. So then I see this. My brain is going to go, oh, that must mean I can't walk through it because of association. Yeah. So if you have, like, multiple areas where you can walk through this or, like, Basically, if you keep it consistent, that you know it, then it won't confuse you. If that, I'm trying. Mm. To, it's hard. To, I'm poorly no, explaining you. it. If you keep it consistent, the player won't feel like weird about it. Mm. They won't feel weird about going through the waterfall. I mean, I think it's a nice idea. It reminds me of like epitaph. Like if there was a lift mm. and like it, it shoots you all the way up through the waterfall or something. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Nice if you had that digital tree out here and you could like jump <laughs> on the the leaves of the tree. Like to like platforms. You feel oh, like you're giving me a lot of cool leaves. ideas at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely take a look at um, Danger Tanner. He is making he's making a lockout remake. Yeah, but it is absolutely gorgeous. When you look at the map he's making, it is gonna blow your mind out of proportion. It is just incredible. And and when I looked at the map, I was like, yeah, for my third map, I need to do something big. I can't just do like because I was gonna do like a church. Yeah, I was gonna make a church, but it's like mm -hmm. overgrown. And I was thinking to myself. Like Everyone does that's, churches. <laughs> yeah, that's just not gonna do it, you know, that's not gonna cut it. And then I was like, what? Well, I wanna make a shopping mall, but I wanna make it futuristic. And it just came to my um, head, you know, like just a very dumb idea, but as you can see, a very dumb idea can very quickly turn into mm -hmm. something pretty darn awesome when you um, start experimenting with things. I would also look into maybe making it a sim as well, just do something kind of safe. Um, because, I don't know, I just think it'd be cool to see you make a sim, do, or maybe a pseudo sim. It's like mostly mm. symmetrical elements, but a few areas are different. So yeah, I'm not saying you have to. I know A sims <laughs> are way more fun to make, but yeah. <laughs> just the way it's set up, it looks like this would be a really cool symmetrical map. Yeah, just with the way the center is. If I were to quickly get a few objects together, because like I said, this is a shopping mall, and I wanted to feel like a shopping mall. Um, I've got like the layout in front of me, and people don't usually um see those kind of things because I never show them, but. <laughs> Um, you can see I have a graph paper in front of me, and on that graph paper I have um, this kind of like image of the map in front of me, yeah? Um, so if I were to quickly look at that image and kind of show you what I mean for this map. This is very rough, okay. by the way. Um, don't mind just the random objects I'm placing around. This is extremely okay, rough. <laughs> I'm going to zoom out here just so I can kind of see what you're doing. Yeah, it would have helped if I didn't generate the line for this particular particular spot but you know, I know because it like it jacks up the lighting for everyone yeah 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 but it's fine it's fine I'll just do this yeah so I'll do a little bit of this so I'll duplicate this I'll put that over here and do that there we go now you can see everything beautiful right <laughs> <laughs> not really but yeah you get the point and well it didn't even matter because I was zoomed far away so it was still really dark oh yeah because <laughs> you don't even render that at the moment <laughs> I yeah. get that and then I'll have something like this then like that yeah so I wanted to have some kind of a bridge going all the way on the higher ground over here. I think that would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then still have an underground section below. So this would be like pushed back. And no, that's of... definitely the right way to go with it. Yeah. yeah. And then have like maybe some pillars below. And this area, of course, would go a little bit lower. And then have another staircase on the side, like on either side of this, um, behind this bridge, going up over here to the highest spot of the map. Right. So like if you were to spawn over here, you can take a left and a right, and you like you still end up in the higher spot. Or you can go through the well, middle where all the mayhem is taking place. And I'm... I feel like you probably already knew this, but just to leave you with this kind of something to think about, which I think you already are with what you're explaining. But, um, you know, so you have this, let's say this is a sim map or yes, yeah, two bases. It's flag, right? Yeah. It's CTF. I'm trying to pull a flag. Well, this, if I pull it this way, the, the more dangerous spot should be the quickest way to pull a flag mm. because it's the risk versus the reward factor of like, if I take this risk, I'm pulling it straight through the middle, I'm in the open, you know, I it, but it's whatever gets the, the flag the fastest. But then if you have this bottom area, like this should definitely be, you know, it takes slightly longer. Like if I were to pull it down here, I got to walk, you know, I got to like snake through these hallways or this room, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I got to slowly pull it. And it's like, obviously you want some points because it's no fun to pull flag and never see the guy or have a chance to get him, right? So... Mm. You know, it'd be good to have these kind of breaks in the space where it's like, okay, I have to cross this section, but at least when I cross, I'm protected from, you know, above, so it's still that safe route, but it would take absolutely the longest. So that's just something mm. to think about, too, when designing maps is like, okay, you know, is it is it make sense, I guess? Like, make does it make sense to pull this in this situation or is this spot? Like, why give? what's the reason for the player wanting to go this way? Because it's something mm. that, as a player, you think about, but you don't know you think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a thing we just kind of intuitively do. Mm. So it's uh, it's like cre it's creating that mentality for the map. Yeah, you made sense with that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> made perfect sense. Not being sarcastic, by the way. I was thinking well, also for this bridge section, where the waterfall is. Um, just make it a little bit kind of like more open at the bottom. What do you think about this? Because I just delete delete this big block. I think this look, um, works a little bit better. Or... It works better, and I would maybe put like a support column. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would look cool. And then even if I was up here, I can. It prevents me from having all my. Inf I can't just stand here and be like, boom, 
I'm guarding, you know, it, it prevents me from just watching everything mm. from one angle. Yeah. So maybe something kind of like in a similar style. So I've got like a black one, then I can yeah, you a can put, of you know, ones. you could do down here, you could put like a bench or like a vending machine, something mm. that we would typically find in a mall where it's like the side rooms or the side areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm glad you, <laughs> um, accepting my kind of like thinking at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like it's a what yeah. you do at a mall, I guess. Or like there's trash cans there. Mm. I like to be on the receiving end of Forge Critique because usually people come to for advice from me, from um, like to hear advice from me, yeah. But um, I never get a chance of having people go through my maps and be like, "Oh yeah, this is shit. Like you should definitely change that because it's not gonna work," you know. Um, not enough people give me the kind of feedback that I need, and I'm very happy that we're going through this with you over here because you have a lot more experience with competitiveness than I do. So. Yeah, I try. I think I do at least. Ooh, I hope <laughs> I would. <laughs> Uh, now but... everything that you have said makes sense but if you were to stand over here then this would probably go a little bit more in this direction so it's kind of like more mm -hmm. in the middle of this doorway no, I, I could see it too because it could be almost like digital rocks like the similar thing like it's a little cave kind of deal mm. in a way so yeah. I could see it yeah those pillars I want them to kind of like um, the theme for those be pillars more... I wanted to be like all around the map so mm -hmm. depending on how the object count will let me <laughs> go about it and yeah. also those glowing ones, like I really like the way these look, like the more the virtual ones. I think they look pretty darn awesome. So I've got like two different ones over here. One's a little bit more see-through, one that's a little bit more solid-ish. Yeah. I think they look very nice. <laughs> and I want to have a few of them spread around the map. Like, because um, this is meant to be a shopping mall, yeah? So I want to have like um, the shop signs, of course, and then the entrances to the shops around the edges of the map. Like where we're standing right now, usually if you were to walk down the kind of like this alleyway sort of thing, you'd usually see like a shop maybe over here in front of you, so there'd be like a gate over here, but then like an, mm -hmm. like an alleyway through here maybe, and then another shop in this section kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Okay. Kind of surprised we were well, able to talk about this very small map for so long, but... <laughs> well, there's a lot of theory and a lot of, there's a lot of uh, art going on, so I always... <laughs> You're more experienced in art than I am, but I also, I, you know, we're both artists at the end of the day, yeah. <laughs> so we can always talk shop. <laughs> but uh, I think this will conclude your maps. Um, next time we do this, hopefully we can look at mine. Um, I'm really mm. slow at forging, so it's, you know, it'll take some time, but I had a great time looking at them and uh, hope you guys did too, watching us pick apart these maps and mm. maybe uh, hopefully you've, if you're a forger, you learned something or... You know, if you disagree with everything that we said, then let us know. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, and that's all I have to say, Recon. If you have anything else to add, uh, we wrap, wrap, you know, wrap it up here. <laughs> um, this episode is going to come out in a week. So at the um, release of this episode, you'll still have two weeks to enter the um, Forge Hub spectacular um, contest for the Super Fiesta thing. If you, by any chance, want to create a map, by the way, First place, one thousand dollars. So mm -hmm. you know it's a little bit of a catchy little price. So if any of you want to create a map, you have two weeks to do so, and good luck. You know you can start right yeah, now because, for luck. example, my first map I've made like in what a week. So that was my century map, the Japanese map I've made that in a week. So um, like yeah, I'm a more of an experienced forger. But even if you have no experience with forge, you can very you know you can just enter the contest for um, the fun aspect of it yeah because yeah. people will still play this your map you know you might learn something from it so it's a good right. chance for you to get something out of it even if you don't win the actual contest so um i would highly yeah, recommend i would highly recommend for you to go ahead and make something and submit it for the forge hub contest so good luck my friends yeah. and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of us breaking down the maps episode number 40 by the way 40 <laughs> all right we'll see y'all later take it easy boys